for analogs, uh, I made a few videos, right? And I can see that you guys are interested in those and because you are making an update right now. And I have a few things to share um, within this video. Uh, some things that I've noticed around the price and around what's going on. So first of all, Analos, we've done a lot of videos on it. Uh, if we go to my channel right here and I tap in Analos, you can see that I basically warned you about a drop just to go over what happened so far on the at the begin the end of December and we died. January said it's not looking good, it's the end. And I was right. Uh, that was January 3rd. Look at this. We just dumped from here. And I made another video that's saying it's the end. Liquidity locked, 10 mil market cap right now. At its highs according to DX screen. And by the way, this video is not finished twice. Um we got to 200 mil And it's very weird to tell people when we're at 300 mil that this token will be over, but it went down by 96% from there. And it wasn't hard for me to see all this because I noticed all of these well have sold 100% of their tokens and they did not buy a penny of a token. They either received it from another wallet to hire the transactions or they bought in a pre-sale or private sale or whatever happened uh, before. And basically, <clears throat> Since I saw, and I had a few discussions in the comment section, I will tell you what I think about the price of hand loss. It's not necessarily a sell, necessarily, necessarily a sell. Uh, <clears throat> I want to tell you that I made a course uh, of how I think and how I understand, how I find these exits, how I find the top, how I try to buy the, at the bottom, right here. I'm finding ways to actually buy this bottom. And it's not as hard as you think. It is not as hard as you think. It's actually, not that hard but what you need to do is you got to put in the time so uh, i'm showing how i manage my expectations my two secret weapons how i find token cycles my favorite patterns to trade how to follow whales footsteps how to identify your environment how to find tokens that just came out and a lot more stuff that i'm adding all the time so this is something that i want to show you from one of the <clears throat> videos from the course, I'll go to second eight. We analyze a lot of difficult things that no one would tell. And this is what this course is about. It's about putting in the work, seeing data that others do not possess. It's not the chart. It's not yep, it is not the chart. It is data that others do not possess. And this is what <clears throat> we're trying to do. We're trying to look under the hood to see what's going on. So when we go to the 15 minute chart right now, we can see massive selling, but we also had a nice high right here and a nice high right here. The issue with these highs were they were followed by a retest with a more selling. If you're wondering what that is, it is in this episode, how to identify your environment. I take the time to actually explain all of that. And um, so this was very logical. Buying here, taking profit here. That was an easy, easy trade. Um, from here to here, 10% quick. Here, you could have scalped as well because you have a high, retest, you're out, 10%, maybe eight, seven after slippage and fees, if you have a little bit more money, but even the, it has very good liquidity. Now we have this high, which is uh, when we zoom in, it's a little mix, mixed to be honest, but it doesn't mean that it cannot be a buy. The thing is that the massive uh, accumulation, resistance to support zone was right here. It was this. So basically we had this resistance right here, flipped support, and price skyrocketed here. Um, the issue with this, this time is that you gotta be very careful in watching these two levels. Because if we go below these, we will be heading downwards. So you want to find good accumulation around here. And it might be buying some, probably not right now, because I don't really see any volume. One hour, 2K volume, I don't know. Volume went down a lot to 300 grand. But if I can get some good volume in, a buying pressure around this high, uh, around this low, 
I would be actually be interested because this will be a very good accumulation pattern and then I can scale for around seven, maybe 5% if, if I wait for a confirmation, five, 6% to this high. So this is a little bit more tricky. Uh, this is a very difficult pattern to trade, by the way. What I'm mostly teaching my course in how to trade tokens uh, at the beginning of their life, but also it works for here, but it's way easier to trade here, right? This is cycle one pattern, this is the cycle two pattern, both were really easy uh, to trade and you would get a really nice multiple, right? 2x, 20, this is a hundred and something, uh, 100, 200 percent returns, not even if you catch the highs, that would be a 10x. So I think this is way easier uh, to in order to trade. So um, MLOs, I, I don't think it's worth the, the risk right now. If you can afford the risk, yes, but just going over the top wallets, no one is, has anything. Look at this, top 50, top 100, no one has a single token. Everyone is out. So in fact, I'm out as well. Um, what I wanted to say was, we all learn. So if you lost money from this token, do not worry. You'll learn. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel, learn some free stuff here. I go over over 10 tokens per day. You can pick my brain. You can ask me in the comment section and I would love to help you out. And as Jay-Z said, on to the next one.